glaube, das mit der Britney Spears lasse ich irgendwie unkommentiert. In EK, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, wonderful music. We just heard Sweet Germanium from this album, which is called The King Has Two Horses Ears. What does that mean? <laughs> well, the story is actually too long to tell you now, okay. but <laughs> it's an old Irish story and it, it goes across Europe as well. Mm -hmm. um, many different countries have the story about a young boy who can't tell his truth and speak it out clearly. So he gets very sick and he needs to tell somebody, but he's not allowed to because of this prior um, thing where he wasn't, he was told he couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, the whole story's in the song anyway, but he goes out and tells the tree, uh, this willow tree, and the willow tree then is made into a harp and it's sung across the land that the king has two horses ears because this is the thing he can't say because the king won't allow him to say it. Because oh, okay. he has this blemish that the king doesn't want anyone to know. So I love it because it's a story about the truth, you know, will come out at the end of the day, no matter what. And it's to me, it's like a lot about what songwriting is about, is kind of telling the so truth. So what truths are on this album? Oh, good question. Just, I can't see. The thing is, singing is um, a wonderful thing in that you don't have to say exactly what it is, mm -hmm. you know, like you don't have to tell everyone. But there's lots of little things about me in that that I can tell through singing that makes me feel like I'm communicating something about me. But there's many, um, everyone has secrets, I think. It's mm -hmm. nice to be able to share it through music. And So you're not scared that someone might figure out what your secret is? No, it's nothing no. that I'm ashamed of. Oh, okay. So it's just, you know, it's sometimes easier to tell. People ha have different ways of expressing themselves. And through me, for me, it's through music. I know um, a lot of dancers and artists and they have different ways, but for mm -hmm. me, it's through, through singing. Also, das Album heißt uh, Der König hat zwei um, Pferdeohren. Also auf jeden Fall geht es um einen, einen Jungen, also eine Geschichte aus Irland, die aber auch in Europa zu, um, die man so kennt, wo ein Junge was nicht erzählen darf, um, weil der König ihm das verboten hat und er geht zu einem Baum und erzählt das und die, der Baum um, verändert sich in eine Harfe und dieses Lied, also der, der Geschichten, die sich Jungen für, für dem ganzen Land verteilt und das fand sie schön für ihr Albumtitel, weil sie auch von sich selber ähm, Wahrheiten und auch ein paar Geheimnisse versteckt hat, ähm, die man eventuell rauskriegt, wenn man die Texte richtig zuhört. Ähm, well done. Uh, ooh, I hope so. You don't know what I said. I knew I said something completely wrong, but I tried. What do you speak German? I speak a little bit. Oh, you do? Okay. Ich yeah. habe fünf Jahre in der Schule ah, okay. gelernt, mm -hmm. but my grammar, I don't know. I that doesn't matter. No, not even the Germans know the grammar. Yeah, don't right. Worry about it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I love your concept on uh, when you do music that you offer it online mm. and um, people can pay for it or they yes. can also not pay for it it's up yeah. to them i like this i like giving people the opportunity to pay what they think the music is worth mm -hmm. and on my bandcamp page which is available through my website which is i uh, any k.com have right here cool. for everyone to see that's i n n i hyphen k.com mm -hmm. and um people can go there and um my my digital download is available for 10 euro, 20 euro, 100 euro or nothing. So I give people the choice to pay what they like. Mm -hmm. The CD and the vinyl, um, I got some beautiful vinyl done because the artwork was so nice. These co a couple from Sweden did this um, called M&E. &E, and um, so I love that, that I have it in a big form and vinyl. But the digital download, um, sorry, they're available for uh, 12 and 20, but I have to make some money back for them. Absolutely. But the digital download is available for whatever price people and want. What has, has your experience been with that? Good, really yeah. good. Yeah, people, n no one really takes it for free. People like to give m money for music. And I like, I like that kind of idea of giving rather than just paying money, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah. Also man kann äh, das Album digital runterladen bei ihr auf der Seite, die wir gerade angeblendet haben. Und ähm, da kann man selber entscheiden, was man dafür bezahlen will. Also entweder 0 Euro oder eben 10 oder 100 oder auch 1000, was auch immer man will. Und sie hat auf jeden Fall gute Erfahrungen damit gemacht. Es hat noch nie jemand äh, 0 Euro gegeben, weil die Menschen einfach das Gefühl haben, ähm, sie, sie geben was und werden da nicht dazu gezwungen. Das Album, wenn man es so kauft, muss man schon dafür bezahlen, weil sie äh, schwedische Grafiker hat, die das Ganze gemacht haben und die sollen natürlich auch ein bisschen was dafür bekommen. When you sing, it's very uh, quiet and kind of, um, it's, uh, yeah, almost um, peaceful, mm -hmm. um, but it, I think it makes you smile. And on, it's, it's like a mixture of melancholy and happiness. How do you do that? That's very true, I think. Yeah, um, I used to write very sad songs. Oh, and really? Then I wanted to um, write some happy songs because I'm a happier person than I used to be. So I think these, this melancholy and happiness is always just a balance, isn't it? And um, for me, yeah, in songs, it's, it's nice to have both. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, I think singing and writing is just expressing whatever is going on. I always like to have some hope or um, yeah, peace or something good that comes out of 
hard experiences and, and difficult experiences. So I think that comes true in the music. And has it always been that way? Um, have you always wanted to have something positive or was there a time when you were yeah. really feeling sad that you didn't want anything happy, happy to be said in the songs? No, I was always looking for um, some salvation or hope or something better through music. Mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't do it if I didn't feel there was something good that comes out of it. And even if um, I'm in a sad mood and a lot of my singing came from traditional songs, that's what I grew up with. So there's so many sad songs about lost love and unrequited love and that, but there's a beauty in it that mm -hmm. makes you feel even happier and gets you beyond the the kind of the depression and the sadness and that's the magic I think for me yeah. Also ihre Musik ähm, ist eine Mischung aus ähm, Melancholie, Melan Melancholie und ähm, ja, glücklich sein und das versucht sie eben ähm, zu vermitteln. Ähm, sie singt auch über Sachen, die traurig sind, aber versucht immer, dass man noch am Ende doch noch lächelt, ähm, weil sie auch ähm, in ihrer Kindheit sehr viele irische Songs gehört hat, die ähm, immer so traurig sind. Aber trotzdem hat man ein gutes Gefühl danach. You sing very, very high. Does that um, take a lot of training? No, not at all. I've had no training. Um, just, just naturally singing everywhere at sessions and mm -hmm. festivals and uh, growing up um, yeah I like the high register I always like Joni Mitchell's kind of mm -hmm. high high register and um, and I like the low register but I'm working on it it just takes some yeah I'm, I'm more a high singer but also sind yeah. sehr sehr hoch um, und uh, was macht sie schon immer weil sie auch uh, Johnny Mitchell gerne mag and um, ihr könnt sie auf jeden Fall live sehen jetzt auch gleich bei uns bei NRW Live uh, wird sie noch zwei Songs performen dann nicht auf der Ukulele sondern um, auf unserem Klavier und um, ihr könnt sie aber auch live sehen quasi auf der Bühne die Daten stehen bei ihr auf der Website drauf heute Abend zum Beispiel um 20 Uhr müssen wir noch ein bisschen beeilen in Düsseldorf in the Tube oder in Remscheid morgen Abend oder im Kaffeebo am 11. Juni, also am Donnerstag und äh, dann noch ähm, was ganz Besonderes, was aber gar nicht hier draufsteht. Deswegen äh, erwähne ich das jetzt nicht. Thank you very much for being here. Thank It's lovely so speaking much. to you and we're going to be hearing some more music. Wir machen jetzt erstmal weiter mit dem Blickblick und dann geht's weiter mit Inni